Betelgeuse is a red monster star eminent for its enormous size. It would probably extend all the way to Jupiter's orbit if it were situated in opposition to the Sun. Not only is this star massive, but it is also extremely volatile and close to exploding. The likely blast of Betelgeuse has been a subject of much concern and interest. Betelgeuse is a baffling red monster situated in the heavenly body Orion. In late 2019 and mid-2020, it showed up bizarrely faint, arriving at levels of haziness not found in 100 years. The star Betelgeuse, frequently confused with Betelgeuse, momentarily darkened during this period which prompted a flood in hypothesis about Betelgeuse's destiny. Notwithstanding, Betelgeuse has since recaptured its splendor, infrequently in any event, surpassing different stars. There has been a lot of speculation about how it could be destroyed by a supernova, but is there any evidence to back this up? Will the red monster Betelgeuse detonate inside our lifetime? And assuming this is the case, what impact could that blast have on the planet? Astrophysicist Brian Cox has shared his considerations on Betelgeuse's capacity to go cosmic explosion. He cautions that the annihilation of our planet would have horrendous impacts all through the cosmic system, as people are the main known type of life here. Cox likewise looks at the Goldilocks hypothesis, which proposes that world's particular circumstances have permitted life to prosper. The sun is halfway through its life cycle, converting 4 million tons of matter into energy every second, despite remaining relatively unchanged for 4 billion years. Researchers anticipate that in around 5 billion years, the sun will psychologist and cause emotional changes on the planet. In the BBC's Amazing World series, Cox has discussed this, explaining that the sun will not vanish quietly. It will heat up more as its hydrogen fuel runs out, causing its outer layers to expand and its core to collapse. The impacts of this sun-powered change will be felt on Earth significantly sooner than its last stages. Cox says that Earth will see its last day of life in one billion years when the sun will spread out to cover the horizon and eventually wipe out all life. Our planet may witness the final stages of the sun's death after humanity has passed away as it enters its final stage as a red giant and continues to expand. At last, the sun will detonate, shaping an enormous cloud, and what remains will be a white midget, a little, thick leftover of its previous self. Doctor, as the sun rises and its environment becomes less hospitable, Alan Stern, principal investigator of NASA's New Horizons mission, predicts that humanity might seek refuge on distant dwarf planets like Pluto, like the star Mira, which was discovered in 1596 by German scientist David Fabricius. Some stars, which are called variable stars, have fluctuations in brightness. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the night sky. It is in the Orion constellation and is so big that if it were at the center of our solar system, it could engulf several planets. Regardless of being 400 to 600 light years away, Betelgeuse's size and splendor make it a critical object of study. It is the fifth most brilliant star overhead, and its splendor shifts, some of the time in any event, testing Sirius, the most splendid star overhead. Stars like Betelgeuse are supposed to take their lives in cosmic explosion blasts. However, such occasions are uncommon. Stargazers have long anticipated that Betelgeuse could detonate out of the blue. However, it might in any case endure longer than a human lifetime. Gigantic stars like Betelgeuse break down under their own weight when they run out of hydrogen and helium gathering weighty components in their centers, which at last prompts a cosmic explosion. Some scientists think that the supernova in Betelgeuse will be so bright that it will look like a second moon in the night sky. In 2021, Betelgeuse diminished decisively, dropping almost 60% in splendor. This dimming was later found to be caused by a gas cloud. 
Stars like Betelgeuse consistently discharge residue and gas, which can cloud portions of the star. Notwithstanding the darkening, Betelgeuse stays half more brilliant than regular today. However, the reason for this abrupt splendor is obscure. While a cosmic explosion doesn't appear to be up and coming, the progressions in brilliance are brought about by a similar residue cloud that recently diminished its light. Betelgeuse's behavior piques the interest of astronomers. Betelgeuse is getting close to its end of life because its mass is 15 to 20 times that of the Sunday 10 million years is a short time for astronomers, but for humans it is a long time. A supernova could occur in thousands or even millions of years, according to new models. The star's mass and distance are still up for debate, and some experts think that it might combine with a smaller companion star to form a new one, which could explain its rapid rotation. Old texts portray the star as looking like a yellow Saturn, showing fast turn of events and the chance of a cosmic explosion. If Betelgeuse somehow happened to go cosmic explosion, it would be a staggering sight noticeable in any event during the day. Be that as it may, at 600 light years away, it wouldn't represent an immediate danger to Earth. Before dissipating, the explosion would leave behind a bright haze in the sky that would last for years. Betelgeuse, otherwise called Alpha Orionis, is a striking red supergiant in the Orion heavenly body. Its outer surface would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit if it were situated at the center of our solar system. Notwithstanding its size, Betelgeuse is temperamental and approaching the finish of its life, making it inclined to a cosmic explosion blast. This star is likewise named a semi-normal variable star, importance its splendor changes because of throbs in its external layers. During times of murkiness, the splendor diminishes, and when the throbs die down, the star becomes more splendid. Betelgeuse's supernova explosion would be visible even during the day from Earth and could outshine the moon for weeks. Luckily, Betelgeuse is far enough from Earth that regardless of whether it detonates, it won't represent an immediate danger. However, the event will result in a sky haze that can be seen for years.